Honestly, every year it seems like summer goes by quicker than the year before. And because I've clearly run the idea of time flying into the ground, I'm convinced that the Earth actually spins faster during the summer months. And of course, by summer, I mean summer vacation. I couldn't give a crap about the season, which I hear is only halfway over as of today. I was wrestling with the idea of short summer vacation last night when I came up with a brilliant solution. If I just moved to the southern hemisphere, the winter would go by quickly and the summer would be nice and long. Sometimes I even surprise myself with my level of genius. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's August 7, the 219th day of 2011, which means that 67 years ago today, IBM dedicated the world's first program controlled calculator, which they called the Harvard Mark I. The 1 in Mark I being a Roman numeral, of course, which is certifiably the coolest way to number something. I mean, just look at that title. It's regal, inspiring, slightly confusing. I like to do that with my titles, 1009 them up every now and then. Anyway, the Harvard Mark I. It was 51 feet long, 8 feet high, and 2 feet deep. It weighed about 10,000 pounds and was mechanically operated by a 5-horsepower electric motor. It could perform 3 additions or subtractions per second, a multiplication in 6 seconds, and a division in 15.3 seconds, while a logarithm or trigonometric function took it more than a minute. All this, and yet I still managed to find my laptop bulky, unwieldy, and capable of not enough. Let it be known that while I don't like it when older people tell me how easy I have it, I do concede to the fact that I have it pretty gosh darn easy. I mean, it would be really hard to cheat on a math test and not get caught with a calculator that weighed 10,000 pounds. Your backpack's looking pretty bulky there, kid. Couldn't help but notice you brought it in with a forklift. Oh, that? That's nothing. I inherited a library. Now, how long do we have for the division test today? Fifteen minutes. Okay, and how many questions are on it? Forty, but they're really simple. All right, thanks. Okay, I gotta see if I have enough time to use the Harvard Mark I. Let's see, fifteen minutes times sixty should get me to seconds, and then divide that by forty questions, and I should get seconds per question, right? I'll be right back. I just need to go check my backpack for something. It should take me no more than 21.3 seconds. One time I forgot to enter in a divisor, and so the Harvard Mark I tried to divide 16 by 0. Took 10 minutes, coughing and wheezing, until it finally spat out a slip of paper that said, Does not compute. Please consult Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris was only 4 at the time, and he could divide by 0. Why couldn't the Harvard Mark I? As a matter of fact, I don't even think this laptop can divide by 0. I always knew there was something basically wrong with it, and now I know. All right, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go out and find a laptop that's worthy of sitting on this desk. One that can divide by zero. See you guys tomorrow. I'm Ollie the Folly, and until tomorrow, he's Griff, and he is still, unfortunately, talking. <laughs>